When being asked to solve percentage values, sometimes it's a little difficult to know what exactly the process is, the order of it, how to set it up, and what you're supposed to do to solve. So when we set percentages up as equations, it's very helpful in guiding us to the right process. So we want to remember this formula or format, that the amount, so the part, equals the percent times the base. And when we're reading a phrase, anytime we say the amount is, is is indicating the equal sign, and percent of the base, of is indicating the multiplication. So by using these key terms, it can help us plug in values to be able to solve for our missing value. So if we look at question number one, it says bottle A contains four ounces of water, which is 25% of the amount of water in bottle B. How much water is in bottle B? So it's saying four ounces is 25% of bottle B's quantity. So when we plug that in, that lets us know, well, we need to find bottle B's quantity. How do we get it by itself? Well, the 0.25 is supposed to multiply by B, so to get the 0.25 off of there, we have to divide both sides by B. So when we divide by 0.25, divide by 0.25, this then lets us know how many quarters are in four. Well, there's going to be 16 if you use a calculator to find that. So this calculates to 16, so the quantity in bottle B is going to be 16 ounces. If we look at question number two, it says bottle C contains 150% of bottle D, or of the water in bottle D. If bottle D contains 24 ounces, how much is in bottle C? So it wants to know the amount for that. So I do a similar setup. I don't know bottle C's quantity, but I know it is 150% of bottle D's, which is 24. So to start with, we always have to convert a percent to its decimal equivalent. So 1.5 times 2, 4, or 24 is going to let us calculate what is in bottle C. So when we get our calculator, because I'm just going to be lazy, uh, we go 1.5 times 24, it's going to give us 36. So the quantity is 36 ounces in bottle C. Question three says, bottle E can hold 20 ounces, but it is only filled with 17.5 ounces of water. What percent expresses how full the bottle is? Well, in this case, we're gonna set it up as a fraction. What is the whole? What is the full bottle worth? It is 20 ounces. And what is the part, which is how much that we have? It is 17 and a half ounces. So to convert a fraction into a decimal, because we need the decimal format to find its percentage value, we take our part, 17.5, and we divide it by the whole, which is 20, and that gives us 0.875. So when we convert that to a percentage, we always just move over two places. So that gives us 87.5% full. Question four says, is 60% of 400 equal to 87? Is this a true false statement? Well, we set it up into our percent equation. 60%, so we convert that to its decimal equivalent of, which means multiplication, and that was 400. So we need to know, does that equal 87? Well, we plug it in. What is 400 times 0.6 for the 60%? And it is 240. So it does not equal 87. Question number five says, is 45% of 320 equal to 144? Again, is 100... 144, 144 is equal to 45% of 320, 320. So we just go ahead and solve for this side and find out does that equal what is on the left. So if I go 320 times 0.45, 
I get 144. So this is a true statement. It is equivalent. Okay. Question number six says 60% of X is 43 and 2 tenths. So what does X equal? We plug in, again, we just plug in our knowns into uh, our percentage equation. So 60%, so 0.6 of, so that means I know I'm multiplying it, of some amount is 43.2. And again, even if I don't know what parts are representing, the of and is are my clues of where I'm plugging it in. Well, if I am supposed to have 0.6 times x, in order to get x by itself, it means I have to divide each side by 0 0.6. 0 0.6. So 43 and 2 tenths, 42, or 43 and 2 tenths divided by 0 0.6 is going to give us 72 for x's value. Finally, the last question says 38% of C is 190. So I know 38% is the decimals, 0.38, of C is 190. To get the 38 hundredths off of the side of the C, I divide both sides by 38, divide by 0.38, and I'm able to calculate that it is... 190 divided by 0.38 is going to be 500. So the original value is 500 and 190 is 38% of that.